Hi, I'm Hired Money Mike, and today I'm going to go over cut one of the pillars of the Burr system, rental flips. If we remember, we look at this as there's two pillars. Number one, you got to buy properties at wholesale. So wholesale purchase. And number two, you got to have the correct two-step loan program. We call it quick to buy and quick to refi our two-step loan program. So if you're looking at the Burr and using the Burr method to limit your cash, if that's your whole goal is to maximize the loan and limit the cash that's out of your pocket, how much you have to put into these rental properties so you could maximize it, one of the things, one of the tenets of this is you know buying at wholesale, but why do we buy at wholesale? Here's one of the things that we found that was confusing to a lot of people. Time after time, people came in with finance degrees, with mortgage experience and stuff, and they just didn't understand. They're like, I have 20 grand to put into this property or into this deals, but I end up finding great deals at a 65 or 70 percent loan to value, but I don't know how to get going because I don't think I have enough money. So one of the things that we're looking at is is this whole Burr wholesale, buying at wholesale and limiting your cash, if you're looking for limiting your cash, is that when you get to do the long-term loan, you get to use the after repair appraisal for your long-term loan. So you're able to use whatever the market price is. It does not matter what you purchased it for or what the repairs are, it does not matter your total cost into the project. We're not gonna base your long-term loan, if this is set up correctly, we're not gonna base your long-term loan on what you have into the property. We're gonna value it off on the appraised value. And so how does that look? Let's just look at a simple example. And let's just say there's a property out there that after it's repaired, and it's appraised, it's worth $300,000. Now, if you're gonna set this property, this, um, this long-term loan up properly, and we're gonna use in this, we're gonna use a standard conforming loan. Fanny, Freddie, whatever you wanna call it. So, we wanna make sure that there's a lot of different loans out there, but just for this example, we're gonna use a standard conforming because it is the number one product out there. So, we wanna make sure when we're talking about something like this, we're gonna use something that most people are using. So, this is the 75% long-term value, as long as you set this up properly, and we'll go through that in another video, setting this up properly, and making sure it's a rate and term refinance on your property. So if you were able to set this up, in this case, your long-term loan could go all the way up to $225,000. So as long as your purchase price, repair, your cost, your closing costs, everything are less than or equal to the 225,000, you don't need money into this transaction. So those people who are like, I don't have enough money, I don't have anything, finding the right deals, you don't really need money into this transaction. And, and even if it's, it's something where like maybe you're all in for 240 or more. So in this case, um, you're at 240, your loan set up properly as a rate and term, you're still the only into it for 15,000. So even if you just had that 20 grand, you can actually purchase a property using the Burr method. It all comes down to being able to use the appraised ARV for your long-term loan. But let's just look at an example just to contrast a little bit. What happens if you are buying a property at retail? So this, of course, is buying at wholesale. But what if you wanted to buy or contrast this from buying something at retail? And let's say we still have that property that's worth 300000 and using a standard conforming loan, we're gonna to have to put 20% cash down. So that means we have a down payment now of $60,000. And this is your down. 
and we have a new loan for $240,000, a long-term loan. So here we have 240, 60 equals the 30. We really haven't created any equity in this, and we have $60,000 into the transaction. We're up here by buying something at wholesale, using the appraised value, we're able to get into these properties with zero or, or little in. And if you contrast these two, over here, even if you're looking at the 240, if you have a loan for 225,000, you have 15,000 in cash into it, so you have a total of 240, you still have 60,000 in created equity. And this is all based on, we wanna limit our cash, but we're gonna be able to use the after repair value here. So with this properly set up Burr, where you have 60,000 in equity that you created, let's actually change the color a little bit here. Um, when you're buying something at wholesale and being able to use the appraised value, you're creating 60,000 in equity. Here, you, have, you put in 60,000 and you have a loan for 240,000. So you really created no equity. Um, and what we want to make sure people understand is you don't need money or you need even less money to get into something. That's what's the beauty of the Burr. But you have to understand the reason is we're able to use this appraised value as long as you're buying something under value at wholesale. So we also have some great tools on our websites where you could actually go in and do a, a quick Burr analyzer. Um, it's, it's just something to give you the rough numbers. I know there's probably some other calculators out there that'll go farther, but this is just so you understand when you're buying a property where your numbers are gonna lay. Um, the next video, we're gonna really go in making sure we set up this loan correctly, because if this loan is set up incorrectly as a cash out over a rate and term, you're really gonna lose on your maximizing your loan. You're gonna have more money in, and the costs are gonna be a little bit higher. So we wanna make sure that we Next step is we set up this loan correctly so that it does everything that you want. So if you have any questions, please check out our websites at hardmoneymike.com or investorrealestateloans.com and drop us an email when you have a chance. Thank you so much for your time.